Hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation with a note of some very exciting news, which I actually just learned today, uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks to Brad Baker, who let me know about it. But here we go. The uh, sail docks ha is, has prepared the uh, high-resolution rapid refresh model data, that, and they make that available at the sail dock site. And this is... Um, this is very exciting, high resolution data, probably the best there is uh, for uh, inland waters or near coastal. And so those, fam those who are not familiar with sail docks would go to saildocks.com to learn about this. Those who are familiar, familiar with it know that they send their request to query at saildocks.com. The new message is actually the standard format. Um, a couple things special. The name of this model is HRRR, High Resolution Rapid Refresh. I'm asking here for uh, 2 degrees and 2 degrees, 3 degrees longitude, but you can, well look at this and then you see how you can home way in to minimize the file size. This is very high res da resolution data. It's uh, 3 kilometers, so you put in here 0 0.01, comma 0 0.01. And then uh, this is, there, there's different ways to do it, but this is uh, for 24 hours of data. It actually only goes out 18 hours. So, but this is a format that will work for you. It will take uh, the most recent model, which will be about three hours old, and then we'll go out about, uh, we'll go out 18 hours from the present time but this format here will will get you the right data they'll interpret that properly and then read uh, you have to read the instructions here uh, about what this means this is asking for uh, sea level pressure and wind if you just want wind which is uh, mostly what you, which, which is what you would need if you're just doing routing with expedition or some other program you would leave this out and then just put the, this bar and then wind and this is a vertical spacing bar which is will be on the keypad various places on my Mac it's on that it's on the top of the uh, backslash key so that's the command that you send and then in a minute or two you get back the uh, it, re it tells you the time and the file name that you're getting the repeat your request and then if you had your request wrong, it'll say the request was not valid or something. Some more information here. And then attached at the bottom is your file, the grib file. And so let's look at, I'll look at a, a couple of these uh, here. And I'm, I'm actually viewing these in a Mac in a grib viewer called Luck Grib. Very nice uh, Mac viewer for the Macintosh. And so the first one here that we've got, these are these, and here's the on this one uh, there's the region of the three degrees two degrees and then this one was wind only and on this you zoom it this way this is now Puget Sound area and uh, so here is this beautiful wind data and this program works this way here's the here's the time that uh, Here's the time it was requested, and here's when the model was computed. So that's about like 1900, and uh, 1900, and then it's going to go out. 19 plus uh, 18 hours is here. The data is uh, is actually computed for every hour, but this program actually you could look, you can interpolate it just by looking at that clock right here like that so this would be the present time and then here's midnight I guess and then so you can just see how that data moves around and then if you come up here you see up in this corner here the actual readouts for these different grip viewers uh, look at this different ways this is a pretty handy way and then you can on this one you control this uh, zoom that way or I've got a keypad here you can you can move it or it, you zoom it on the keypad of your computer. So this is just showing what that looks like. And now here, look at this, wind only, uh, 314 kilobytes for that large area. Now this is getting to be large data because you'll be out on the water, uh, uh, out on the water taking this over the uh, cell phone. And, uh, and it's free and everybody has it. So this data is now legal all the time throughout races. 
Formerly, we can thank Oceans, which was the only company that had this available period. It was the only option. And that's a commercial service. And that one, we could only use it during the before the start of the gun, start the start of the race. Now you can use it throughout the day. And this data is updated every hour. Every hour is a brand new computation. So you're going to see the forecast changing as the knowledge of the weather changes. And to the extent the forecast changes a lot, that shows you you're in a volatile situation. So this is like 314 wind only here. And if you look at this, you see how much you could cut that down. Like you would never be in one day, or 18 hours anyway, 18 hours, you'd never be racing over this full region. 18 hours, you might be looking over just like this. So you cut that in half, you're 135, 100, 150. Cut that in half, you're down about 70 and you could probably trim that down and get it down to 50 kilometers. You have to play with this. It's brand new. I've, these are the first three I've ever downloaded from SailDocs, and so it has to be an experiment to see uh, the efficiency. Now here, let's see what this one is. This one I just added the pressure because I always care about the pressure, and it's the same sort of thing. But now you see these isobars are set at one, one isobar apart. I haven't figured out in this program how to actually put a number label on here, but I'm sure there's a way. And this is like, you see, 108, uh, 107, 106 millibars. So you see, you can come here and watch those isobars, uh, watch those isobars move across the sound. And by coordinating those isobars, you know, with this complex forecast, look, we're changing just over minutes here, it looks like, eight like that and you see those isobars really moving fast in a case like this so this is a dynamic situation things are moving around and uh, so you can look at the isobars and then just one other one one other example and then i'll stop there this is then down to uh, san francisco and uh, this is wind look at this this is wind and not the best necessarily the best choice of area for san francisco but this is wind plus isobar for 80 82 kilobytes. So if you took, uh, you know, you could go with half that, you're down to 40, then you don't need the pressure necessarily. So you're down to getting file sizes that you really can download on a 4G connection uh, throughout, the, throughout the day as you're sailing in this area. And again, this, this feature on this program is a sort of a nice way to look at how things move around right down here. So I'll let it go for there, and I'll post this a few places to let people know. Uh, the, uh, to my knowledge, this has not been announced yet uh, on the, uh, you know, the regular drop-downs that you have, maybe from within Expedition or other programs. But it will be uh, available, uh, announced shortly, and you can also directly, obviously right now, access it by email.